Hey, Trey! Oh, this is his room. Come on, where are you, man? We're supposed to be doing your, your stupid nutrition video. Why aren't you, why aren't you here? What the? What the? Not what it looks like. It's a protein brownie. <laughs> Yo, 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 what's going on? It's Tremaine Collins coming back at you again. This video is going to be based off of my typical diet and what I uh, like to focus on. You know, it's for my, uh, for my, my diet. <laughs> yeah, my, for my diet. <laughs> but yeah, um, a lot of people around campus have asked me you know, as a nutrition major and an exercise science minor, uh, that affects the way that I go into training as a runner. And uh, it definitely does. It is definitely important. It's a huge aspect of training that you cannot leave out. It's like if you have a really nice car. Okay, no, that's not, that's not quite the analogy that I want. It's like you've got this huge field. You plowed it, you seeded it, you, you fertilized it, you've done everything you possibly can to ensure that 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 field is gonna yield some nice vegetables. You know, potatoes, corn, fruit. Then, you just don't water it. You'll grow some vegetables, but they won't be what they could be. It won't grow to its full potential, and you're just gonna wish that you'd taken the time to water it. Running is the exact same way. You can do all the training in the world, but if you don't fuel your body properly to let it recover, replenish, it's just useless. You're, you're only firing at half capacity. But before we get going, I'm going to ask you guys to subscribe to my channel. <coughs> subscribe. And also, if you didn't see the last video, check it out. I'll leave a little thing right here, maybe. If I can figure out how to work YouTube. Should be right there. But on that note, we're gonna get moving out of here. I'm gonna go get some breakfast, we'll get this sucker rolling, and uh, maybe we'll do some sort of smooth transition here. Some sort of slide, some sort of uh, fancy connection. All right, I'm all changed up, ready to rock. Got myself all groomed for the day. So, you cannot forget about vitamins and minerals. It's super important is because when you're running a lot of mileage, when you are exercising, you're burning through that about two or three times faster than the average person who doesn't exercise like an animal. So, especially for me, I like to take Hemaplex. Hemaplex is a total blood health supplement. This saved my track season last year. If I didn't start taking this, I don't know what I would have even ended up running. It's got vitamin C, iron, amongst other things that are really good for your blood. So without iron, the hemoglobin in your cells can't attach itself to oxygen. It needs that iron there to be a carrier. So without that iron, you're not going to be able to do what you need to be able to do. You're running on less than you usually could. I also take this men's multivitamin gummy. It's very good. Uh, I take the gummy because I don't like the ones that taste like a pill. Kid at heart, whatever. It's loaded with a bunch of vitamins. That, that's all of the vitamins and minerals that I take personally. I find that I can get the other stuff that I need from just my food. So, that's about that. Okay, we're here at the food hall where I eat all my meals. Got some fruit over here. Grill line up here. Lots of good stuff. So, a typical rundown. I usually do not eat this breakfast, but they are out of bananas right now. That's Bobby. Your words of wisdom. Um, eat this, not that. So typically my breakfast is uh, four pieces of toast with two bananas, and I'll cut the bananas up into little slices, put it on top of the toast, a little peanut butter jam. But instead, since we're out, I'm gonna have three eggs, uh, two pieces of toast, a couple of apples, a couple cups of coffee, and some water. And the reason being, eggs have a lot of protein, about 80 calories per egg to keep you full throughout the day. The toast is whole grain, it's got lots of fiber, help keep you regular. Fruit's got good natural sugars, also help keep you regular, tasty, good way to start your morning. And coffee, just because uh, you know, I don't sleep much. I'm gonna eat my breakfast. 
see Alec Bar today. Lots going on in the reef. I'll probably hit that up in just a second. Great bowl over here. Look at this guy. Working hard or hardly working? Oh, yeah. <laughs> How about you? Working hard. Oh, that's the wrong answer. Okay, here we are at lunch right now. Like I said, I like to eat a pretty light lunch because I need something smaller in my stomach for before I run. Uh, it just doesn't sit well for me otherwise. So I always like to get my vegetables in. I've got some alfalfa sprouts, carrots, spinach, a little bit of rice, chicken, and some steamed broccoli. Uh, it gets my, my greens out of the way for the day. It's a little bit lighter. It sits in the stomach well. Got two more cups of coffee, a glass of water, and I am sipping on water in between meals. I'm gonna get this down quick, gotta get to work, so uh, that's my lunch. Right now, I'm back at the room. Just want to show you guys what I'll be eating for uh, a little snack. I keep a little shelf of protein bars for after I finish running. Uh, it all differs a little bit. Each has a little higher protein count, a little higher calories. The main idea is you have about a half hour window to get some sort of food or protein into your body after you're done working out to get optimal recovery results. So I always like to eat a protein bar right after I'm done. You could also have a protein shake. It does the exact same thing. I just don't like how they taste. It is a little more expensive to get protein bars, but if that's the route you wanna take, then go for it. Chocolate milk works well too. This is just what I do. I'm about to eat my dinner. It's not usually what I would eat. Uh, I've got a lab for ROTC that is kind of interfering with my usual dinner time, so I had to improvise a little bit. Got something from Sexton, a little pick up and go. Got a grilled chicken wrap, uh, spinach wrap, should be pretty good, tasty. Chocolate milk, loaded with calcium, about eight grams of protein. Good for the body to help replenish, restore, recover. A little bit of carrots for some veggies. And I drink Propel because it has the exact same electrolytes as Gatorade, but it does not have any calories. So I can eat other foods that are more nutrient dense instead. Later today, I'm gonna get a snack and probably some dessert since this is a pretty small dinner. It's my last meal of the day. Got a slice of pizza, some french fries, and a monster cookie. Now you may be wondering to yourself, why are you eating that junk food? It's important to know that you cannot keep a completely 100% clean diet all the time. It's not good for your body for one, and for two, it'll mentally drain you. Shalane Flanagan, the winner of the women's NYC marathon this year, eats dessert after every single dinner, every single day, 365 days a year. So if you don't think that you deserve or can afford to eat dessert after a meal, don't even think about it. Just do it. So that about wraps things up. I don't usually count calories, but just for the point of the viewer understanding and knowing what I ate today, it came out to 2,285 calories. So there you go. It's a little bit lighter for a men's calorie count, but I'm not running a whole lot right now. We're still in the recovery phase of our training. I'm only running about 25 to 30 miles a week. So my appetite's a little bit lower than it usually is. Otherwise, if you guys liked the video, make sure to like the video itself. If you wanna see more content like this, subscribe to my channel. And please feel free to leave a comment or a concern or a question about anything that you might have regarding running or this video itself. Thank you. Peace, love, and praise the booty.